LCF is a small private nonprofit that focuses on the primates of Madagascar, lemurs exactly. We focus on the true lemurs and we have six different species at the reserve and 46 individuals at this time. LCF is a unique organization because we focus only on lemurs. Zoos across the country have multiple species that they deal with. We've decided that we wanted to take a clear and succinct focus on lemurs. They are the most endangered primate in the world. They're the most endangered mammal in the world. So we need to make extra special effort to protect them and to also give them the science that they need so we can help to save them both in captive populations as well as in the wild. The Lemur Conservation Foundation was started because there was a real need for conservation of lemurs and for extra space for managed breeding uh, programs, which is a big part of um, of conserving animals to be able to provide a safety net for the individuals that are in the wild. We are very involved in conservation in Madagascar as well as conservation education programs, um, lemur research, um, and artwork. LCF is here for many reasons. They're not just trying to help the little lemurs that are here. They're here as part of something greater. They're part of the AZA, which means a lot of these lemurs are in the breeding programs. So they're really helping keep populations of rare and endangered lemurs. Um, they get transferred between zoos and other conservation sites, and they do provide a good home for these guys as well. What LCF does is that it preserves the lifestyle that these lemurs would have had if they were living in their natural habitat in Madagascar. They give lemurs who have been in difficult situations before the opportunity to live out their lives or have lives that are more like the ones they would have naturally. The way we reach the public within our community and around the world is through our education programs, our internships, as well as the research foundation that we offer. Since we have 46 animals on property, we have a significant population where researchers can come to visit and do lemur research here without having to leave the country. ...to a hunched position, adjusted again back to laying, looked around some more, passive stared, looked again, some more passive staring. I think probably the, the best part about it is having the opportunity to teach new people about lemurs. Um, people that have, you know, maybe never been around wild animals before. You know, the hope is, is that they leave here caring about these animals and um, will be part of helping to conserve them, whether that's just telling their friends about lemurs and what amazing creatures they are, or, you know, maybe we can inspire people to, you know, have this be part of their career, their future careers. It's definitely been eye-opening. I had never really thought about these primates as more than just what they look like in a textbook. So it's really nice to actually see them in action and see why what they're doing here is so important. It's, it's very great to have some hands-on experience in, in all different areas of anthropology or whatever field you want to go into. And this has been a great experience. I think it's also important to kind of open the eyes of students and anyone else who comes to LCF to how a place like this works and how important nonprofits like this are for spreading kind of the message of conservation and environmental awareness. Since LCF is a private 501c3 organization, we operate purely off of donations. And so we are looking to expand our donor base and to bring in individuals who are interested in supporting our work both here in Mayaka City, as well as the work that we do abroad in Madagascar. We've always just had an amazing group of people that have supported our ideas um, and, and helped us get to where we are, because we are a small organization. Um, so we definitely couldn't do um, what we're doing now without just you know so many people around us um, lending their expertise and services to us.